How y'all doing? This is Rob Brown. I'm Mike Airport. You might already be in this episode of Richard TV 91. This time I'm doing another movie reviews, and this time I'm reviewing Scorpion King 2. What Scorpion King 2 is, is about Matthias when he's a kid, and his father is a, fi a fighter for this teen's uh, Black Scorpion group. And what they are is they're a bunch of mercenaries in, uh, crap, I'm not, I can't remember where Scorpion King's from. Anyway, from where Scorpion King's from and he his father doesn't want him to try out for black scorpions but he does anyway and then his father and one of the head guards have an argument and then that next night the head guard has some kind of dark magic or whatever and he's able to kill matthias's father and matthias goes on to train to be a black scorpion and then when he comes back his brother's talking bad about the new team who is uh sauron the guy who killed matthias's father in the first place so after he's talking bad about Sauron, Matthias is forced to kill his brother, but he doesn't kill him. And him and his brother fight his way their way out of the kingdom, but his Matthias's brother winds up dying. And then Matthias goes on this journey to find this sword. That way he can kill Sauron because Sauron has this dark magic. And we, what we find out is is he got this dark magic from this uh, demon that Matthias has to go up against to get her sword. That way she can take on, he can take on Sauron and uh, destroy him. And then after this, Matthias gets out of the underworld and he's able to go back to where, uh, Acadia. That's where he's from. Acadia and get his showdown with uh, Sauron. And he, him and Sauron had their final fight at the end of the movie or whatever. And Sauron turns into this black scorpion and Matthias is able to kill him. And after this, the demon wants Matthias to come back to the underworld. And Matthias says, you'll have me soon enough. And Matthias, at this point, has been poisoned with the black scorpion venom that's running through his, brain, his uh, veins or whatever. And he's going to continue his journey. And after this, it goes into Scorpion King 1, I think. And that's all that really happened in this movie. If y'all ever watched Scorpion King 2, what did y'all like about it? As always, preacher man, I'm going to be signing out. God's good Jesus. Also, see y'all next time.